analysis with regards to the Isro TV D1 flight test. The test, remember, has now been scheduled for 21st October 2023 uh, at 800 hours. Indian Standard Time from the first launch pad at SDSC SHAR Srihari Kota. Let me go across to Deepak joining us with more details. Uh, Mission Gaganyan on in full swing. We're picking up more details of the schedule as well. Deepak, over to you. It's going to be a short duration mission. Visibility from the launch view gallery will also be limited. More details trickling in. Take us through the latest. Well, Christine, a very important update, uh, primarily because these are uh, important steps. Yeah, please a change, Karan. Uh, successful uh, manned uh, mission and uh, more importantly of course uh, th this uh, mission is important this test flight in particular because it uh, will uh, test the capability of the crew escape mechanism because uh, the scientists have been mentioning that the priority here would be the safety of uh, the astronauts and uh, these tests this is of course to be unmanned and uh, uh, but the pay uh, the, the uh, payload of course uh, and overall uh, the, the spacecraft itself uh, will be built in a similar manner with the same amount of when there are astronauts who will be on board. Uh, so it is a test that will be conducted to ensure that why, while they actually conduct the manned mission, uh, the all isms uh, work as per plan uh, that the ISRO, of course, has been working on for quite some time now. All right. Well, the students and the public can also witness the launch from the LVG at SDSC uh, SHAR Sri Harikota by registering and all details have been put out as Mission Gaganyan preparations have been ongoing the last so many months. Siddharth is also joining us with more details as have been shared in the latest. Over to you, Siddharth. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the uh, latest tweet that uh, ISRO has just put out a short while ago, Kritsween, briefing us uh, about the test preparations for Gaganyan, uh, which is going to be our first uh, manned space mission to the International Space Station. Of course, still building up to that, eventually they'll have to conduct a series of tests uh, before the operation actually materializes. This is what the ISRO has put out right now. The test is scheduled for October 21st, 2023 at 8am IST from the first launch pad at the SDST SHAR in Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. It'll be a short duration mission and the visibility from the launch view gallery will be limited. Students in public can witness the launch from LVG at SDSC SHAR Sri Harikota by registering at, uh, they've provided a URL. The registration will commence on the 17th of October 2023 at 6 p.m. Latest updates will also be provided in that link. And this is basically a manifest of the Gaganya pilot scheme, uh, the test launch that is scheduled for the 21st. All right. Deepak also continues to stay on with us. Many thanks for that quick update, Siddharth. Uh, Deepak, we're also learning and we put out those details just a short while ago of, of how the Prime Minister is personally monitoring uh, this mission, Gaganyan mission. Uh, and in now aiming at setting up uh, the space station by 2035 and will be sending a man to moon by 2040. So that's a brief timeline that is going to be followed is what we're also learning. Well, uh, the Prime Minister, of course, uh, being a space enthusiast himself, has been uh, very closely monitoring most of the missions. And the manned mission, of course, will be very crucial for India's uh, endeavor into space. Uh, he is, of course, uh, reviewing the readiness of the Gaganyan mission, like you mentioned. Apart from that, the Indian Space Station to be set up by 2035 is the roadmap right now that has been uh, put forth. India is also planning to send man to moon, uh, while Gaganyan, of course, is uh, putting, uh, you know, the... Indian in outer space uh, going to moon, of course, will be a whole new challenge. That is something that has been uh, uh, thought about as well. And uh, all of mm. this is being very closely monitored uh, by the Prime Minister. And uh, more importantly, of course, the impetus being given by the government is something that has been spoken about by uh, scientists at risk time and again.